You're a strapping young man. Don't be a stranger. How's it going? Thank you. How's it going? Well met, Kinsman. Wait. I know you. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Oh, very well. Here's half. You'll get the rest when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Was something we discussed unclear?
You need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim. You're in the right place. I can't wait to see Sabjorn squirm. Was something we discussed unclear? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sift and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Sabjorn. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me.
My husband Bercy will be the Out deadly. With it. He spends too much time worrying about Rifton and not enough about of course. himself. It's all in this note. Until next time. Some of the this juice are getting out of here. Ah, it's good to see you. What are you doing that for? Hello, good to see you. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Well, you did something Vex couldn't do at Golden Glow. So, you're looking pretty damn good. Word is that you found something while you were out there, though. Something that could be a problem for the guild. Just watch your back and do what Mercer says. He'll sort it out. Just when the going is getting good? No thanks. Good day. Ready for some work, or are you just gonna wander around all day? I have work if you've got the what backbone. Think, dear? Could a beautiful woman like you ever see yourself? Don't give up now. There's plenty of loot up. Absolutely. I knew you had it in you. After all, finding the stones was no easy feat. Well, I'm not one to welch on a deal. So here's your reward. Hope you put it to good use. I know I have. I can take care of myself. Come on, take another job so we can both make some money. If you're looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. What do you mean? Still have quite a good bit of jobs available. If you're looking for some extra coin. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. Dalston was gratified the death of his daughter was avenged, and the heirloom was returned. At this very moment, he's laying the groundwork for the guild to re-establish itself in Windhelm. Burning that banner was a nice touch, too. Should send a clear message to the Somerset Shadows that we're a force to be reckoned with. We're still growing by leaps and bounds, thanks to you. And other merchants moved into the space outside the flagon. You're a natural. Never seen anything like it. We got a long way to go, but don't let that bother you. It's a lot farther than we've been in years. Good. My clients are getting impatient. All right, got a simple one. Just get in, change the books, and be back in time for last call. So, how's about it?
Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut and you'll do fine. Let me give you the details. Something troubling you? Yeah? I'll listen. If you don't watch it, I may actually start to respect you. Job well done. I don't know what you're made of, but I've never seen anyone tackle this many jobs without ending up dead or in jail. We got half of Skyrim back under our wing, and the coins start in the flow. There, if you're ready, I've got another special job for you. I need you to make your way to Solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms, but keep you cool. Do this job right, and we've just made an important friend out there. Can I give you a little tip? Take every job you can get, or else you'll end up a beggar. Putting together another shipment from Morrowind, Mickle. Looking for any special. Well, if some moon sugar should fall into your lap. Maybe. That stuff's getting tough to bring across the moon. Something I can help with, or do you just need something? All meats guaranteed. It's so good to see you again. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. You want a drink? Safe travels, Landstrider. I've never seen me old this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, They'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. I believe we're done. some marksman training. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. 
Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. I guess I have a minute. What do you want? Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Flow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Golomai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Erangoth was a fool to think he could get away with this. I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Gullamai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Gullamai works in the East Empire Company warehouse. He helps maintain all of the shipments of goods that goes in and out of solitude. That means he has to pick up the litter from some of the finest goods to grace Skyrim's shores. He isn't exactly in the guild, but he pays us a cut of all the stuff he lifts from the warehouse. There are thieves, and then there is Gullamai. 
No honor, no code at all. He'd shake your hand and stab you in the back at the same time. The cut he's supposed to provide the guild has dwindled as of late. He says pickings in the warehouse are slim, but I'm certain he's lying. Keep your eyes on him. He's quite crafty. Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we'd find that information quite valuable as well. Good luck in solitude. Keep Gullum Eye alive, but remind him who we are. Or a different place now. Business here. Business with it. I'm Calselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. Good to see you. Yes. Hmm. No, that's probably not of any use. Ah, yes. There it is. Thank you so much. Of course. Until next time, then.
I've been holding on to this for you. Here, I hope you like it. Oh, now do be careful. Safe travels to you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. 